Hey, this is Curtis with Blue Cherry. I'm going to go over some of the features in the Beta 7 client. Uh, this video will be using the OS X client. However, we also have a Windows and Linux client, and they operate the exact same way. So currently we're viewing a Grandstream GXV 3615 and, uh, with just one channel. We can select uh, 4, 9, or 16. Go ahead and uh, throw this into a quad view, and we will drag some cameras over. We have uh, that one. We have an Axis demo camera. We'll throw in here, and we'll throw this Bricom camera, which is really out of focus. So let's drop that out, and let's go ahead and add a server. We'll plug in. A camera from this server. The uh, login and password for this server are the default, so we'll click that. It automatically connects, make sure everything's okay. Hit finish, it is good to go. Um, we'll drag this camera over here. So now we have uh, four cameras. Down here at the bottom, it tells our current throughput for the client, so we're pumping around 500, 500k a second for uh, these live streams. We can adjust the frame rate, full, half, quarter, eighth, or just drop, drop it down to one frame. It takes a second to get everything back buffering and that uh, that's going to greatly reduce the, uh, the bandwidth. Here is our list of uh, available cameras and what's going on with these. So we can select any of these cameras. This one is currently in progress, so it's still recording. You can double click on that, and it's going to start playing the video automatically even while it's downloading. And you can seek and fast forward and all that, uh, all that fun stuff. So you can also save that to disk if you wanted to. It saves the audio and the video of the disk in the same container. It uses a Matt Ruska container, so you can play that back in your media player or burn it to a CD. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add an IP camera. So we will click on this, uh, this server, go to devices, add an IP camera. We're going to add an Axis 207W and uh, we'll call this inventory room. And the IP address is 201. We also have advanced settings they're uh, you're not typically going to have to mess with this unless we've got something that's set incorrectly but uh, you can adjust the motion JPEG port and the uh, the RTSP port if you need to on that camera and we'll drop out of there we will refresh the devices we now see this inventory room camera that we added we'll throw that uh, in over there and now we've got four cameras. And you can see the status. This one's recording, this one's recording. And that pretty much is the overview of the client. It, uh, if you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. There'll be some links to the bottom of this YouTube video. And uh, like I said, this is Beta 7. Still has some work that we're working on before 2.0 is released. If you have any uh, suggestions or any features, make sure you let us know. And uh, if you haven't already tried the demo, it's free. Uh, just go to bluecherrydvr.com slash v2beta and you'll be able to uh, sign up and download the server and client. Install that on your existing Ubuntu installation. And uh, off you go. Thanks.